My name is Rana Sakhal, I'm from SAC. I'm an admin um, director of uh, tourism from the Ministry of Tourism, Public <coughs> Health Corporation and Investment. So, uh, the, a brief overall of two million, um, kind of a quick guideline to the um, tourism investment project throughout the country. Okay, uh, the, the, the content today will cover the overall of Cambodia, the travel facilities and access, the marketing, uh, the tourism arrival, the tourism supply, our vision in the next 20 years, um, the project of tourism supply, the potential sectors, product development, key product underway, and of course, at the end of the day, the, the contacts with our staff to the extent. Uh, Cambodia lies actually in the heart of Southeast Asia in general. Uh, our population right now is between about 16 million to 2000, uh, actually right now it's 2016 already, so it's about uh, 16 million. Uh, the, the average age is about 24 in the labor force. And then the population growth is about 1.6%. Uh, uh, the capital currently is capacity of 2 million. Okay, we have nine international checkpoints. Uh, three to Vietnam, six to Thailand, one to Laos. We have one international seaport, then the international airport. The arrival last year was uh, 5.6. Uh, we expect it to get roughly about 6 million, uh, 6.3 million by this year. And by 2020, we expect it to get hit about uh, six, uh, 6 million. So this is our source of marketing. Uh, we get mostly of the, the tourism um, generating revenue from this uh, uh, sector. So we have uh, the GIT, uh, which is the mostly a packaging uh, a group traveling coming to Cambodia, uh, roughly around $507 per person. And then in, in traveling, actually, it's less than the group traveling, roughly about $28 per person. The graph on this side, actually, it's a little small. Um, if you can see the number up there from Laos to Thailand and Cambodia, the rate of the increasing of arrival each year for in the past 10 years is very consistent, is about 12%. Okay. Uh, Philippine capital, uh, the holiday stay roughly averaging about 60%, uh, 76% stay in holidays. The first visitor is about 83%. The repeat visitor is about, six, uh, about 17% in general. These numbers reflecting that arrival of that 6 million that we expected this year. So the table contents again, it's reflecting the source of supply. Our vision in 2020, uh, Cambodia will receive about 17 million arrival. This is international arrival. Uh, by 2025, we expect to get 11 million. And by 2030, we expect to get 15 million. And the direct job will be uh, injected directly into the general population. In 2020, will be 1 million direct jobs. Uh, 2025 will be 1.5 million, and then uh, 2030 will be 2 million. Cambodia uh, is expected to welcome about 15 international arrivals with 18 million domestic travelers, uh, and generate about 11 billion dollars in revenue. And we 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 think thinking about we might get about 20 million in, in uh, 20, uh, by 2020 we might get 5 billion and 8 billion in 2025 and 11 billion in 2030. The project for instance price, the, the average of the hotel rate is about 70% increase each year. The average gross of guest house is increased about 12%. Well, a lot of people might asking why is the hotel less increasing than the guest house? In general speaking, because some of the hotel that we are monitoring right now is three star and above, and mostly some of these hotels are under renovation. For the most part, the guest house we include the boutique hotel, uh, the small hotel that we actually giving more incentive to the local business to actually tell them to kickstart the project just to make sure that the country itself grow in terms of the hotel hospitality with the standard that we initiated from the Ministry of Tourism. Uh, in 2020, uh, 7 million will be arrival. The hotel will be uh, expected to be 994 hotel. Uh, 4,800, um, roughly around 48,100 rooms. The guest house actually will be increased tremendously. Uh, for the 2025, the hotel will be increased almost 50%, well, actually, roughly 35% from 2020. And in 2030, the number will also increase not a lot because we think about the 2025 will be developed to 2030, would be a five year period. So it will be increased roughly around 
full cycle in Buffalo and hotels. So a potential sectors that you might be interested in investing in Cambodia is um, maybe uh, we cost you to get the new field. The other sectors in the tourist and tech sector. The agriculture and agro industry, the transportation and telecommunication sectors, the energy sectors, and the later intensive industry and export oriented industry. Uh, the processing industry, human resources, oil, natural gas, coal, and mining. For the tourism sector, you might look for the natural and tourism zone, the hotel resort, gaming, um, entertainment, and mines. Uh, we try marketing Cambodia as culture and natural destination, but gambling also will be included as well for, for, the, for the attraction. The theme park actually, in Cambodia, we have not seen a, um, a name great initiative theme park, but a the theme park will most likely have issues at the local. But we still need like a kickstart from like Disney, um, like the Universal Studio, the Six Flags, and those, those, those companies are coming in that, that make like a wow factor of theme park initiative. Uh, the tourism, location training schools, that this is another investment for the HR and also the quality of training in Cambodia. We need more productive, more high education in terms of the tourism skills. Uh, tourism institutions, upper tourism, sport tourism. Key uh, interested for investment in Cambodia, uh, moving of course the capital. Uh, our resources here is, is tremendous. Uh, we are showing growth of high hotel resort in Mice, uh, theme park. Uh, transportation and sport tourism might most likely will be needed because we have a great so the reason why I'm bringing this slides up, and most people will know about the book actually, is the, we just unlisted uh, last year at the site. But if you look at the picture on the left, actually, it's on your right, it's my left. Uh, it, it, it's not an abandoned land. It used to be an airport, but now the land is fixed for investment. Because the distance between Phnom Penh to Angkor um, Wat is roughly about three and a half hours. But the reason why this place is ready for investment, you can invest in a golf course, hotel, and other resort. And it, it, it has a huge potential because the surrounding area is very close to the top. It's only probably within 45 minutes away from the site to, to the Tongue uh, Lake. And it's fit for a beautiful golf course because within the surrounding area, a good, beautiful great course, and also we have a UNESCO Heritage Temple. Okay, the product development, all the three main destinations in Cambodia are well connected by air, water, and land. And then we have uh, a lot of, uh, of product diversification that we need to be developed. We are not heavily relying on simply just the main destinations of the tourists. The coastal zone is work in progress. And also the eco, uh, eco tourism and wildlife tourism are in the new project of the Ministry of Tourism in the next five years. We will increase it in park rangers. Uh, backpack, hiking trail, and waterfall, and just to tell people that Cambodia have many different product diversification for you to come. The second policy actually is initiated last year by the Ministry of Tourism to the Cambodian government. They were cost for a second home policy in the northern part of Cambodia for people who have a retirement program to come to stay in Cambodia. In the past, uh, they kind of allowed the investor to buy what you can consider the second storage up and own it. So the second home policy, the government will foster that land. Uh, you can own it for 15 plus years, but you'll be able to only sell it and pass it through your cousin or relative, but you cannot sell it to a third party. Uh, the key project is on the way. Uh, the new airport development plan in Siem Reap, uh, we all know about the news already, so the capacity in Siem Reap cannot be uh, exceeding, uh, expecting uh, to receive a passenger more than 3 million. So uh, the, the Cambodian government will, will, they already have a contract with the, with the Chinese company to build a new airport in Syria, which is expected to receive, to receive a, uh, the arrival of about 8 to 10 million yearly. The express highway from Phnom Penh to Sea will, will be expanded with the railroad as well. The tourism port is committed to all the, uh, uh, to all the, the island in, in Cambodia. This project actually just started this month on August 8th. The minister is inaugurated the groundbreaking ceremony. The project will be completed in 2019, and it will host about 11, uh, I'm sorry, about a million tourists arrival by cruise. Uh, last year, uh, during the NCO meeting, and also the minister meeting in um, Chiang, Rai, uh, Chiang Rai in Thailand, Cambodia also signed an OU with Singapore. Singapore will be the cruise uh, destination in Cambodia. So when this termination is completed, then it will welcome to another 1.5 million arrival in the Northeast by water. I mean, by Southeast by water. 
the Composed Development Network Plan, uh, actually the second home policy will locate specifically in the Composed area. Uh, the second home policy will be there also as well. The NACA project, I'm going to highlight the NACA project in the next slide. This is just the, uh, the concept picture of the terminal for the cruise ship terminal that will be expected to complete in 2000, uh, 2019. So this is a special zone for uh, developing in uh, in Will, which is called the NACA project. It's actually if most of the local people know where is the airport in the Busan. So this land actually right next to it, not too far away. Is about 3,000 acres. Uh, the government already gave the, uh, the permission to the Ministry of Tourism to lead the project. So the project is it's it's a natural and touch. The land is very diversified. So we need many different types of product development. So you can get every rock towards the resort, so on and so forth. Uh, actually, the master plan is 50% complete. We will just need another technical structure and also to, to see how environment friendly we will feel and what kind of uh, product specification that we might put into the area. And that's it. It's a rough way to go through the presentation. Thank you. Uh, the PowerPoint is available on the flash of Ryan on drive. If you need it, I'll give it to you.